Being an entrepreneur in Africa will always be tricky because the ecosystem um, really isn't there. There's many elements that are missing. Um, simple things for your sort of surrounding infrastructure to support your business. How do you reach customers? How do you collect revenue? To more important things like um, having a network of people to really be able to tap into to solve critical issues and to help you grow your business. And I suppose this is where sort of networks like Harambe do come in. Um, it's been very difficult to actually be able to connect with many other African entrepreneurs and this is one of the very few networks geared specifically to towards that. Um, it's often much easier to connect with people in the US or Europe but um, the actual African network needed a lot more support and growth. So access to people and talent and expertise is definitely something that's worth well, yeah. I joined Harambe because uh, actually I, I was uh, impressed by the people uh, that were part of the Alliance and I thought people were all focusing on you know delivering a positive message uh, of Africa and actually when I was at MIT I was the president of the Africa Business Club and I tried to change the image of Africa uh, among my peers. So I brought them to East Africa, to Kenya and Tanzania to visit many companies. And they came, they came back and they were amazed. You know, they, they, they were not expecting to see something like that in Africa. You know, they were expecting to see animals, only, I mean, most of them. So uh, I, I joined the Alliance for that because you know, I, I, I think that most people in this Alliance, um, they, they see challenges as opportunities. You know, they, they, when you have a challenge, you're, trying, you're not complaining about it, you're trying to find a solution to overcome it. These challenges cannot be faced individually, but rather you need bands of Afropreneurs coming together to work together to tackle these challenges. And that is what Harambe provides, a network of highly educated, highly motivated, passionate young men and women who are prepared to work together despite the seemingly difficult circumstances, but who focus on the solutions. And those are the people that I refer to, like I said, as Afropreneurs. That is what Arambe provides. Across the continent, you meet young people who have the same passion, driving them to solve the problems. And as we like to say at Harambe, uh, we are not just a think tank, we are a do tank. We are a team of doers. I'm actually very privileged to be part of the Harambe family. Um, and um, Harambe was probably life-changing for me because um, it was the pivotal point for me like to meet like every single person I meet in the Harambe family. Um, they're all inspiring as individuals. And I wanted to meet like-minded people who had the same vision as myself. Um, and Harambe connected me to those kind of people. So every, every year or every time there's a Harambe event, I feel even more inspired to try work harder on my label. And, um, and also Harambe opens many doors for, for people like myself who, um, who don't have that point of contact. I joined Harambe really early on, I think in, in the second or third year of its existence. And I joined because I think there was, a, there was a glow that the participants had about themselves. There was a, almost like a blind ambition that they just wanted to do something and I could, I could connect with that. Um, little had I known that I had a latent blind optimism and blind ambition within myself. Um, when I joined, I found so many other people who had such high thoughts about what they could accomplish, um, big dreams for what they could do for Africa. And I had a passion for Africa. And Harambe became the a avenue or the vehicle for me to express that passion. Um, I found people that I could work with. Um, I found people that I could build organizations with, develop leadership skills and, and business management skills with. And together we went on to accomplish great things. Being part of Harambe is, is a really cool opportunity because uh, for a while when I was going through um, in living abroad, studying abroad, wanting to do something back on the continent that had an impact, um, you feel like you're alone a lot of the times. You feel like your these struggles, is it worth it? Maybe I should just, you know, settle and find something more stable, less risk. Um, and uh, being part of Harambe exposes you to just incredible other entrepreneurs who have the same passions, different industry, you're learning a lot from each other and it just feels like you're part of something greater. I love the quote, um, just, I think it was from uh, the President Barack Obama, it's like we're hitching our wagon to something larger than yourself. So um, that's what it feels like you're in a community of people with like-minded um, visions and so 
it's exciting to be part of that and it helps you deal through some of these challenges that just are part of the process.